Hi, this is Prima Bottom, and I would like to show you how to make 3D horns to add to your dinosaurs or monster face designs. These are the things we will need. Um, a glue gun, glue sticks, baking paper that I already secured and taped on the table. As you see, it's already here. Scissors, a bit of water in a bowl. And a tree and a um, three-dimensional fabric paint or just a dimensional fabric paint. You can add some details to it using gems or just any color of glitter you like. So first, what we'll do, I'll just have to make sure my glue gun is already hot, which is not. But um, I came up with this idea a couple of weeks ago and um, I know that you can actually buy glue sticks that already has colors in it and some of it has glitters too in it actually. But I prefer using just the normal plain ones because um, I don't know, I just like it like that. But um, if I come across with a black one, I'd probably get a black one or a gold one. But um, at the moment, this is all I can find. So uh, we're just going to use these ones. So is our glue gun ready? There you go. So first, depending on the size you want, squeeze some hot glue on the baking paper. like that and then dip your fingers quickly on the water then quickly work the hot glue to the shape you want the horn looks it can be a bit bendy like that or just plain upright but I'd like it a bit bendy so I have the option of using it as a um, teeth for monsters or you know how you make sharp looks sharp edges on the monster faces or dinosaur faces and that so and then let it cool for a few seconds which is already happening now make as many as you like i'd prefer making um a couple side by side to make sure that i can find same size so you won't have odd um horns when you apply it to kids face one's big and one small it, it will look funny so yeah um you can probably make it a bit pointier but i would i wouldn't kiss them um, for the safety um and then um once it's all dry like that and and cool take your fabric paint Put a blob of it to the baking paper like that. Making two. And then you can lift this up. Um, the use of the scissors is this because sometimes you have uneven edges. And um, if you're fussy like me, I would cut that off like what I'm going to do now. I'd like it to be as round and smooth as I, I can. Like that. And then you just put this horn. Oops, it's get stuck on my hand. And then, then push it in 
same with this one. I chop the edges too. I don't like that parts there. Mm. Same with this. I think I put it too close to each other. But anyways, we pushed it in like that. And if you're not satisfied with the height of the paint around it, you can add some more. I'll add this one. Like that. And then you can use glitter. I'm using blue on this one. Because I already had some made before. And then just let it dry. And for um, girls, I thought of using some gems on it. to grab it that's it and then just push it on the sides all around it to make a pretty blinged horn for little girls so um, I wish there is an easiest way to grab gems because I really really love putting gems on all kind of things like this and then I'll sprinkle some more glitters to it make it fancier and then that's it you just have to leave it to dry And um, it will eventually look like this. See, look at the back. You can apply some body glue on that and put it on the foreheads of the kids. So, I hope you enjoy watching. And um, thank you.